हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम मयूर गोंडलिया एंड यू आर वाचिंग स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स टुडे वी विल टेक वन एग्जांपल ऑन फूरियर सीरीज विथ पीरियड जीरो टू एल एग्जांपल वन हाफ रेंज फूरियर सीरीज विथ पीरियड जीरो टू एल प्रॉब्लम इज एक्सपांड द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू साइन ऑफ पाई एक्स इन ए सीरीज ऑफ कोसाइन इन द इंटरवल जीरो टू वन इन कोसाइन सीरीज वी नीड कोएफिशंट्स ए जीरो एंड ए एल फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ ए जीरो फॉर इंटरवल जीरो टू एल इज ए जीरो इक्वल टू टू अपॉन एल इंटीग्रल जीरो टू एल एफ ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स substituting the value of f of x and l we get a0 equal to 2 integral 0 to 1 sin pi x dx integration of sin pi x is minus cos pi x upon pi therefore we can write a0 equal to 2 into minus cos of pi x upon pi limit 0 to 1 putting the values of limits a0 equal to 2 into minus cos pi plus cos 0 upon pi cos pi equal to minus 1 and cos 0 equal to 1 therefore a0 equal to 2 into minus of minus 1 plus 1 upon pi and which is equal to 4 upon pi this is the value of coefficient a0 now an a n equal to 2 upon l integral 0 to l f of x cos n pi x upon l into dx. Substituting the values of f x and l, we have a n equal to 2 into integral 0 to 1 sin pi x cos n pi x dx. Now we will apply trigonometric relations. 2 sin a cos b equal to sin of a plus b. Plus sine of a minus b. Here a equal to pi x and b equal to n pi x. Therefore, here a plus b equal to pi x plus n pi x equal to pi plus n pi into x, and a minus b equal to pi x minus n pi x, which is equal to pi minus n pi into x. Therefore, we obtain a n equal to integration zero to one. sin of pi plus n pi into x plus sin of pi minus n pi into x into dx by integrating a n equal to minus cos of pi plus n pi into x upon pi plus n pi with limit 0 to 1 plus minus cos of pi minus n pi into x upon pi minus n pi with limit 0 to 1 substituting the values of limits a n equal to minus cos pi plus n pi plus cos 0 upon pi plus n pi plus minus cos of pi minus n pi plus cos 0 upon pi minus n pi since cos of pi plus n pi equal to minus cos n pi and cos of pi minus n pi equal to minus cos n pi And also cos zero equal to one. Therefore, by putting these values, we get a n equal to cos n pi plus one upon pi plus n pi plus cos n pi plus one upon pi minus n pi. Simplifying it, we get a n equal to this one. Here, these four terms are the product of these two terms, and these four terms are the products of these two terms. and here in denominator this term is the product of these two terms now in this equation this negative terms cancel with this positive term and this minus n pi cancel with this plus n pi therefore the equation is minimized as an equal to this one now taking 2 pi common from numerator and pi square common from denominator and 1 pi from both the parts is cancelled therefore we get an equal to 2 into 
into cos n pi plus 1 upon pi into 1 minus n square. In which if n is odd, then cos n pi equal to minus 1. Therefore, cos n pi plus 1 equal to 0 and therefore, a n equal to 0 for n odd. Though here n equal to 1 is not applicable because if n equal to 1, then denominator becomes 0. But if we calculate the value of a n equal to a 1 from given formula for n equal to 1, which is also becomes 0. So, we will write this a n equal to 0 for n odd. And if n is a 1, then cos n pi equal to 1. Therefore, cos n pi plus 1 equal to 2. Therefore, a n equal to 4 upon pi into 1 minus n square for n even. This is the value of coefficient a n. Now, Fourier series for the interval 0 to l is f x equal to this one. Substituting the values of a 0 and a n and taking l equal to 1, we have f of x equal to 1 half into 4 upon pi plus summation n equal to even 4 upon pi into 1 minus n square into cos n pi x upon 1. Here, we take 4 upon pi outside the summation and therefore, we can write f of x equal to like this and which is equal to 2 upon pi minus 4 upon pi summation n equal to even cos of n pi x upon n square minus 1. Here we interchange the places of n square and 1. In the expanding form, it is written as f of x equal to 2 upon pi minus 4 upon pi into bracket. Here we take n equal to 2, 4, 6, etcetera. Hence, we obtain the terms cos 2 pi x upon 2 square minus 1 plus cos 4 pi x upon 4 square minus 1 plus cos 6 pi x upon 6 square minus 1 plus so on. This is the required series of the given function. In next video, we will take one more example on Fourier series with period 0 to L. Write your suggestion in comment box, like and share this video and subscribe my YouTube channel School of Physics. Thanks.